nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and starting the live. Hey guys, and welcome back to a new Roblox video. I am excited for this video today. I'm gonna show you how to make a live event in your Roblox game. So let's get this started. So the first thing you want to do, I'm in my bunny funeral game. If you've never seen this before, it's a game I worked on for a bit. It got 50,000 visits. Very impressive there. Um, okay, so I got a little nuke right here, and that's what we're going to use here. So I'll, I'll uh, keep it right there. In the nuke, we have a script. It, one disabled and one enabled. I think this one... Yeah, okay, so we're going to look at this one. So right here i'm gonna explain what we have in a second so i'm gonna have this model in the description of the video but if you want to copy the script here it is but to copy the script it kind of only works for this model so you'll have to have the model which will be supplied in the description so let's get started okay so there is a time to stop and time to start variable and these are um i and, and there are times with a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten digit number and they show a date and time so i'm not i'm not there's a website that you can go to where you can put in a date and it gives you this number because you're going to need this number for here let me find what it's called so uh to start one of one match then what is it used for okay Oh, okay, got it. Okay, so this is the website that you want to go to. It is in the description. So uh, you can convert Epoch to human readable day. Okay, and vice versa. So what we want to do is we want to do human date to timestamp. Okay, so today is Saturday, 27th, March, 2021 at 12... Uh, that, hmm. How... Okay, EST, can I do EST? Because that is my time zone. It is 9 o'clock for me. So I'll do 9.02. No, I'll do 9.05. And there we go. Strip GMT to convert to local time. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, the, the timestamp is that. What if I set EST there? Okay, so the epoch timestamp is right there. You want to copy that. You want to bring it here. Time to start. And time to stop. Anytime you want to stop. So 9, 10, let's do. So you want to copy that and put it under the time to stop variable. Okay, so uh, for the live event here. Da -da 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 -da, okay. So what we're going to do is now we're going to trigger uh, the live event uh, from the time. Okay, so in my game, I kind of took away the function to start from the time. So we're going to add a function right here that's uh, going to say local time equals, no, local current time equals os.time. That's what time it is. Okay, and now we're going to do if current time is equal to what well, greater than or equal to that that's actually the wrong one we got to copy the time to start uh we're going to then we're going to do the live event function and if current time is uh greater than or equal to and then and then oh oh no I, we don't use that there time to start and we'll do time to stop and then we're going to Here we're going to do a, we're going to, uh, how do we do this again? One second. 
Okay, so now what we're doing is we're adding a while wait do loop while wait do and in here if it's greater than if it's okay so we'll cut that oh wait what we'll cut this and we're going to paste it here on top of here it just organizes it better for me and then if it's greater than the time to stop we're going to break the loop and if it is greater than the time to start we're going to say uh print starting the live event and we'll put the live event function and then we'll break the loop and then we'll say here we'll put in here that uh, we'll have a little countdown right here part we'll have a countdown on the nuke and i i gotta position this correctly uh da -da -da, da -da -da, there we go um that looks good surface gui to show the time we'll add a text label um and in the text okay perfect uh and we'll here put countdown and we gotta actually position this to the front no i mean the top oh but that's actually like scaled incorrectly so i gotta do that and then i gotta do that and then sh there we go and but a boom we'll do that and awesome so there we go and here we go we'll go back into the script uh the script actually and after this right here we'll add game dot workspace dot countdown oh there countdown dot surface gui dot text label e dot text equals uh current time so the time it is no um no not okay so we'll do time to start minus current time there we go and i think this will work let's go here and play in the game it's 907 right now so we've got three more minutes uh i'll play right here let's go in here awesome okay uh well let's see was there an error nuke yeah here we go error uh errors are always a great thing if current time attempt to compare a number and a function uh let's see one sec that was just a little error on my part i forgot to put the parentheses there and we want to put the os.time under the while loop because we want it to update so we'll play here okay awesome and we got two more minutes of this okay here we go the live event started my camera because i already coded it again in that there's a cut scene when it starts but there we go the camera is there the nukes launching right now and and we get to see it up there and if we oh and there's the nuke but the countdown isn't working for some reason let's see if there's an error in there it says starting the live event okay i don't know what's happening with the uh time to start minus current time 
I don't know why that's not working. Let me check. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot again. I forgot to put a uh, parentheses there. That's why it wasn't working. And we'll add time till equals there. And uh, equal. Okay, time till equals dot dot. Uh, and we'll put a space there. And dot dot parentheses uh m minutes there we go and we'll do a little thing here if the current if the time to start is greater than current time we'll p put uh then we'll put uh time till equals t plus time till equals t minus and there we go i'm gonna actually erase this from the end there and let's see how this works okay let's go in here hmm it's still Oh, because it's 9.10. Look at that. It stopped working also. So that that's how we know it's working. Let's go here. Okay, so I got new times from the Epoch Time Converter. Uh, Time Converter, which is that website that I showed you a bit ago. So this should work. Uh, okay, so we see the countdown's working right here. Time till equals T plus 100. Uh... I think I got the T plus and T minus backwards, but, uh, yeah, there we go. I, that, the time, the countdown works, it does update. I just want to fix something really quick. T plus and T minus are mixed up. Uh, there we go. And that looks good. And this should start it, it in, uh, let's see how many seconds. Let's do a countdown here. I'll pause and we'll do a countdown. 118 seconds. So I'll cut back when it's the final countdown. Okay, guys. So we're back. It is about to happen. Let's look at the countdown. 17, 16, 15, 14. And it actually says T minus. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one, and starting the live event. Here we go. So start. Here we go. Awesome. We got the nuke. Let's launch it. The nuke is launching. I think we got a little sound. I can't hear it though. Uh. Oh my God, that's very loud. <laughs> but there we go. The nuke just launched and here we go and now it says oh 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 there we go ah uh, oh my god well there we go we're done and the nuke is about to hit us let me run over ah, ah, ah. nuke 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 alert oh no 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 well, now I'm going to just be ran spam killed. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope this helped. Have a great day, models, and every link will be in the description. See you guys in the next one. Peace.